Building out audiences in the LinkedIn Advertising Campaign Manager can be really overwhelming if it's the first time or maybe sort of second or third time going through it. What should you have checked? Should you use and or functionality? Should this box enable audience expansion be on? What are the best practices for me setting up an advertising campaign so that I don't waste my ad spend on inefficient adverts? Well, I'm gonna talk you through firstly, all the best practices you need to follow strategically when setting up a campaign and building out your audiences. Not only that, I'm then gonna talk you through in detail, hands on how we're gonna set up our audiences within LinkedIn to ensure that we have the best chance of our campaign bringing in a consistent stream of leads and new business and helping us grow our companies. So that's what I'm gonna walk you through. At the bottom of this video, there's a playhead. If you just wanna to skip to the technical stuff, you already know all the best practices go for it. However, I would strongly recommend you stick with me in those best practices because I'm going to tell you the audience combinations you need to go with to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. So best practice, how to structure our audiences. Within LinkedIn, when you're running LinkedIn ads and setting up your audiences, we always want to test three different audience variations at a minimum so let's say we have a solution it's a bit of software and we want to advertise to hr managers in the uk that's who we want to target right we know that you might think well i'm just going to set up one campaign that makes sense i'm going to say united kingdom and i'm going to say job titles hr managers that kind of makes sense right but we don't want to do that. We want to target in three different ways. I'm going to show you what those ways are in a second. And the reason we want to do that is because guaranteed every time you run a campaign, if you test three different audience, audience variations, one of them will dramatically outperform the other two. And you might think, well, it's the same people, but ultimately it's not. Different variations of, ad, of uh, audiences can result in more broad or specific targeting and both can have their pros and cons. So I want to test three different audience variations whenever we run a campaign and whichever one wins is the one we put more ad spend into and we cut off the ones that don't work. If you put all your eggs in one basket and only run one audience, you'll find you're rolling the dice. It might work, it might not, but you are genuinely rolling the dice no matter what you think. Um, so that's that. In addition to that, we always want to have a warm audience and that is remarketing. So that's people who've interacted with our website, or clicked on the ads in this cold section over here. And that's simply just putting into to the campaign manager um, audiences that are based on people who've already interacted with our content. That's just one audience we can put over there. We can segment more if we want to, but one audience, we have way more ads running to those people because they're gonna see those ads more and more and more. So what are the three audience variations we should be running to when we start to run uh, LinkedIn ads? Well, thankfully for you, I've broken it down and. Obviously, we're going to talk through how to practically do this in a second, but for now, let's look at the combos. So the most simple one is job titles. You pick your geography, you pick your company size, just as you normally would, and then we just type in the job titles of our ideal target audience. Nextly, nextly, next, we're going to go after job seniority and function. That's a mix. So, and again, I'm going to show you how to do this in, in a second. Just want to give you the, the overview first. Job seniority, we can say, well, they have to be at manager level, and job function would be... Um, human resources. Now you might think, well, that's the same. The problem is within LinkedIn, you have a field where you can type in your job title, right? However, that job title is a free text field. Whereas within the campaign manager back here, if I say I want to target, for example, human, human resources manager right there, it's not a free text field, it's a predefined field. So there's a disparity there between free text, and that's what the user puts into LinkedIn, and what's in the back end, what we can select. And as a result, there's sometimes a miscommunication there and you don't get everyone in your audience. So you might restrict your audience by just doing job titles. By going job function and seniority, it loosens the exact framing of that job title and allows us to say, well, they have to have the job function of um, human resources and the seniority of managers. And as a result, it can open up our audience. And what that can do is drive down the lead cost because there's more people in that pool. So that's the two combos so far. Job titles, job seniority and function. They are always our foundation. The third one is usually a wild card. And that is either some sort of mix of job seniority, function and skill, 
could be job title and skill. But let's say uh, our solution was for HR managers recruiting. We would say job seniority function and then in the skill section, and again, I'm going to show you how to do this in a second, we would put in recruiting so that we are taking our audience of HR managers and we're being even more specific and saying, yeah, just recruiting. Another alternative for that third audience is any of the above. So it could be job titles and then some sort of growth rate. It could be that they're interested in a certain type of um, they have an interest in marketing or they have an interest in CRM systems or software or something like that. Basically, you have job titles as your first audience, job seniority and function is your second, and your third audience is a wild card. And you have to sort of determine what's going to be best for your exact situation. But generally speaking, it's adding a skill to the audience or adding a growth rate. And that's going to be based on your own experience. If your solution tends to be used by companies that are experiencing a high rate of growth because that's when they have the pain that is needed for your solution growth rate is probably the right thing if that doesn't matter as much but they need to have a specific skill obviously you go with skill so job titles uh job seniority and function and then a wild card yeah okay yeah so this little guy's got a message for you firstly hope you're enjoying the video um he says if you are enjoying the video and you can consider leaving a like comment or subscribing it would be greatly appreciated because you'll see more content that's going to benefit you also for every like comment or subscribe he gets a dreamy so there is something in it for him he's not completely unbiased um but yeah hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you again soon let's go continue so let's go through and build some of these audiences for you quickly so you can see how to do it now there's two ways you can build out audiences. The first is within the campaign. So we're going to set up a campaign. Boom. I'm not following best practice here because I just want to get you through to the, to the audience section. And we could just build it out in this campaign manager. There's nothing wrong with that. That's absolutely fine. We could do that. But the better way of doing it is to follow this process I'm going to walk you through right now. So on the left hand side, when you're on your normal view within LinkedIn, you have this plan on the left. And then if you click on audiences, we can bring up this section here, right? And then we can go to saved at the top. And if we have access to account, right? Um, we can then create audiences over here. Now, why would we want to do that instead of the campaign manager? The reason is if we create it here, we start to get insights into the audience before we've even run the campaign. So I'm going to create an audience over here. And as you can see, the audience builder is on the um, the right hand side. And it's exactly the same as it looks as if we were doing it in a campaign builder. So no difference. So if you want to do this in campaign builder, you can. It's all exactly the same. It's just we're going to get more value out of doing it this way. So the first one we're going to do is job titles. OK, and as I said, we're going after United Kingdom and we're going after HR managers. So we're going to press narrow. We've got United Kingdom in there. Audience attributes, job experience, job titles, human resources manager. Right. Super, super simple. We're probably going to want to add in some more criteria based on company size. It's very rare you don't add in company size as a rule of thumb. The larger the company gets, the more expensive the lead um, and the less accurate or high quality your leads will be. Obviously, if you go too small, the reverse can happen. So you need to know your target audience. You probably already do target the, the uh, audience size that works for your exact situation. If you have quite a broad range, I would advise going on the lower end because you'll have an easier time and it's low hanging fruit to begin with. In this theoretical example, we want uh, HR managers at company sizes between 11 and 200. Now, sometimes when you're building out an audience, this will come up, right? It will say or, and you might be questioning, well, do I use and or do I use or? Now, the rule is you pretty much always use and. There are some circumstances where you use the or, and it's usually in remarketing, so you want to target multiple different audiences for remarketing. But when building out a campaign like this, most of the time, especially if you're starting out, you want to use and. Often what people do is they'll press or, so they'll say, I want HR managers, or actually it's a better example. They'll do job seniority and function. They'll have the job seniority of manager and they'll have the job function of HR. But what they'll do is they'll have job seniority of manager or job function of uh, HR. 
Now, what that's doing is it's sending your ads to anyone of manager level, regardless of their function, and everyone within HR, regardless of their seniority. So you can get the intern in HR, or you can get the manager in accounting. Completely throws off your audience and will result in wildly inaccurate campaigns and awful results. So as a beginner, and you are a beginner because you're watching this video, um, you want to stick with and. Or can be used in certain instances, but not unless you're a bit more advanced, and usually only with um, remarketing. Although there, there are exceptions, obviously, to every rule. So we've set up our first audience. We're going with HR managers. We set our company size. Fantastic audience done. We can start putting in exclusions if we want. If there's something you know that sort of makes your audience not as qualified, by all means add that in. But we're keeping it simple to begin with. Now that we've done that. We can press apply and boom, we start to get insights already. So we can look down here and it starts to tell us a bit of information about like how our ads are going to be delivered. So we press content here. We can see what they're interested in, see where they're based, see what job function they have, what seniority they have, all this kind of stuff, how long they've been working in the job, all this sort of information. So the reason we're building it here is because we get that info. Now, because we've built it over here, we have to then save it. If we don't save it, it will disappear. So we're going to save it. Job titles version one. I'm going to press save. And now what happens is when we go into the audience manager over here, we just click on saved audiences. I need to refresh this quickly. I'm going to click on saved audiences after I've selected my objective up here. And boom, it's in there. We press OK and it pulls it in straight away. OK. We always want to have uh, audience expansion disabled. I've talked to that as another video. Basically, just turn it off. Um, should never be turned on. Now, a few other little quick tips and hacks while we're talking about this. Audience ex audience size should ideally be between 50,000 and 500,000. Um, if it isn't, you can have inconsistent delivery. Just something to consider. That's our first audience. Let's move on to job seniority and function. So we're going to create another audience. Exactly the same process. Again, we're targeting the United Kingdom over here. Our company size is the same. We don't want to we don't want to adjust that because that's not what we're testing. So we're going to go with company company size, and we're between 11 and 200, right? And this time we're going with job seniority and function. So job experience, function, human resources, right? And then we want to close that and then press narrow. So we have job seniority and function, not or. So in here, we're going to go job experience seniority and we want managers close. That's again, given us that same audience just targeted in a different way. And yet again, we can go press apply in the bottom right, come over here. And again, we can see where people are based, their job seniority, role, function, etc. As you can see here, we're targeting the audience in a different way, but we've actually got more senior people in here before we had a lot of uh, people in senior. And now we've got mainly manager. So it might appear that it's the same audience, but we can already tell just by looking at these sort of insights that in reality it is a little bit different. So that's our second audience done. We will do the same thing again. We'll press save over here and we'll press job seniority plus function. And now we're on to our wild card. So we've got that second one in there. And then we're going to go into the third one, create audience. Exactly the same process we did before. United Kingdom, company, company size. We know what it is. And this time we're going to go with our wild card. So I want to go with people in the manager seniority bracket. And I want them to work in the job function of human resources but then I want to go one step further I want to be more specific so I'm going to say job experience skills I'm going to say recruitment or recruiting I'm going to add that in what's that what that's done is it made it's made our audience even more specific I'm going to press apply and again on the left hand side we can look through this stuff over here and we can start to see a little bit more insight as to who we're targeting so now our audience it's the same people but we've gone even more specific and into the recruiting area now as you can see this is a very small audience as i said you want your audience ideally to be a minimum size of 50,000. there are instances don't get me wrong where that's not possible but we might need to add in a little bit more in here to broaden our audience up um, so just keep that in mind and that applies to all three uh, variations so that's how you set up your audiences um, if you have any questions if there's anything i've missed 
just put a comment below. Additionally, uh, my company, Tech Growth Marketing, we have put together something which I think is genuinely really going to help you. So I've put together all of our internal standard operating procedures and templates that we use to run campaigns. That's the top performing adverts, top performing headlines, ad creative, um, structures of ad, ad campaigns, funnels, landing pages, everything you need to run a campaign. And this is basically the same campaign we run for everyone it's just cookie cutter same thing over and over again i have put that together for you as a bundle so you can save yourself a load of time and money um, just getting to the most effective thing basically and i've put a link below to allow you to access that toolkit so check it out below um, but yeah if you have any questions let me know if for whatever reason you're not ready for that toolkit you're not running ads just yet but you do want to know a little bit more we also have an ultimate guide on linkedin ads which you can check out which will give you way more information but i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please consider leaving a like and subscribing i'll speak to you really really soon